Hey there. I reside in a little-known small town that's currently in the midst of a blackout. There are these creatures prowling our streets. I used to live with my boyfriend Ammon, but now I'm holed up in my neighbor's place. That's where I'm penning this from after these monsters invaded our home. They're scratching at the door, aware of my presence. Please, if the worst happens to us all, remember my community. I clutched Ammon's hand as the lights flickered out. The blackout was anticipated. Our local government had been warning us about it for weeks. Yet, I couldn't shake my fear of what might lurk in the darkness. The blackout is supposed to keep us safe, making it harder for the creatures to hunt humans, as sight is their primary sense. I've never laid eyes on one of these creatures before. All I know is they're large, hairy, with bodies resembling sharp shapes. They pounce on their prey without mercy, devouring them whole bones included. I don't get why you're so scared. We're not going out, Ammon remarked. I shrugged, realizing it wasn't just fear. It was also the strangeness of living without lights. It makes you wonder how nights will feel. It's just... Weird, I muttered. Yeah, it is. But at least we'll be safe, Ammon tried to reassure me. His footsteps echoed softly on the kitchen tiles as he approached the windows above the counters, swiftly drawing the curtains shut. It wasn't dusk yet, but he didn't want to risk any of those creatures catching sight of us, peering in and spotting us easy pickings. I was certain they could smash through the windows if they really wanted to. The government's been dishing out advice, nothing groundbreaking, stuff straight out of horror flicks. Stay indoors during daylight, if you must venture out, do it under the cover of night, arm yourself with whatever you can find, and for crying out loud, don't go flashing lights outside. That sort of thing. The stores have adjusted their hours accordingly, opening up after sundown and shutting down by 4 a.m., I've got that fact drilled into my brain, just to be safe. A faint noise emanated from a shadowy corner in the kitchen, like nails scraping against the floor. Probably just my mind playing tricks on me. Ammon and I made sure everything was secure when we locked up the doors and windows. We just wanted that extra peace of mind before the lights went out. I let out a sigh, a quiet release of tension. Stepping into the living room, I drew the curtains shut there too. I stole one last glance outside. It hit me then I wouldn't get to do that anymore. I used to love watching the kids play on the street, the dog walkers, the passing cars. I knew I'd miss those sights, even though I never paid them much mind before. Everything sorted upstairs, Ammon called out. I might never catch those views from my window again. This whole mess might never be fixed. Took me a hot minute to realize I got a question thrown my way, but once it clicked, I gave a nod and spun around to face Ammon, posted up in the living room doorway. The government's clueless about how long it's going to take to fix this mess. They got every force imaginable scrambling to reign in the chaos that's suddenly taken over the whole neighborhood. Can't really wrap my head around it a gang of these bizarre, bloodthirsty critters popping out of thin air and causing havoc. We ought to snag some thicker curtains, maybe then we can bust out the flashlights, Emin suggested, then dipped back into the kitchen. Didn't leave me much room to argue, not that I would. Ammon's got some military background, not that it counts for much in this situation, seeing as he got booted before finishing, but I reckon he's the one with the better judgment calls. I gave a silent nod, more for my own reassurance, hoping things would get under control pronto. The thought of being cooped up at home indefinitely with no end in sight got me more rattled than anything else. Never been much of an indoor type. Found myself drifting toward the stairs, gazing up and catching the same noise echoing from the kitchen came from the darkness looming at the top. Shook my head, trying to shake off the jitters creeping up on me. Noise kept on, had me scowling. Made my way back to the kitchen at the sound of commotion, wondering what Ammon was up to in there. Just as I was about to ask, froze in my tracks near the kitchen door, catching a glimpse of what was unfolding inside. Claws weren't just some figment of my imagination. Ammon lay lifeless on the floor, a creature looming over him. Couldn't make out much, but what I saw looked like he'd been torn apart. Heart skipped a beat as I glanced back at the stairs. Same noise, same creature would come for me next. Creature hadn't spotted me yet, but I had to make a quick call. Couldn't just stick around with these monsters. Neighbor popped into my head, he's a buddy of mine, so I bolted for the door, yanked it open, and hightailed it out, knowing one of them would be hot on my trail. 